do, Mikey? Um, what on earth brings you in here? I, I, I can explain. No need for explanations, young man. I just simply can't believe you're the thief. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I... I okay. Hold a minute. I originally did steal some cash. I took $3,500 because, because I really wanted the Apple Vision Pro. But I had a change of heart when I realized it was going to help Mrs. Jones' sick grandson. So when I came back, I tried to put the money away, but I realized it was gone. So it had to have been someone else. OK, look. I took $3,500. It was originally 10000 right? And I've got nothing else on me. Service is about to commence. Is everything all right in here, Joe? Well, Pastor McDaniels, I'm not quite sure. You see, I just caught this young whippersnapper in the act of pilfering from the cash box. However, there seems to be a discrepancy with the amount of money. And he's claiming somebody else took it. Yeah, I should have known it was Mikey. You know, he has a reputation for bad behavior. What? No, I don't. Okay, maybe I do, but, but I still didn't do it. His mother should be joining us for services today. Perhaps we should tell her what transpired. I have a better idea. Let's not only tell his mom, let's tell everybody. Let's tell the whole congregation. Come with me, Mikey. Now. It wasn't me. <laughs> Good morning, my beloved congregation. Today, it is with a heavy heart that I must address a troubling matter. As many of you are aware, we have been raising funds for Miss Jones' grandson, Timmy, for his long medical treatments. One would think our efforts would be enough if it was not for the action of a thief up among us. No. No, don't let it be. As I've often said, the truth will always come out in the end. Our Lord and Savior has not only blessed us with the discovery, but the identity of that said culprit. And it saddens me to say, it is the one and only Mikey Miller. Treasurer Joe will fill you all in on the details. Well, howdy doodly, everybody. I'm here to share some sad news. Mikey not only took the money, but he kept on fibbing till the very end. He had the audacity to say he was just putting it back when I caught him. And you know what? I almost fell for it. I almost did. <laughs> I mean, even if you had escaped unnoticed, it wouldn't even really mattered, young man. You see, that cash in the box was a fake. I had a hunch that somebody had been pilfering. <laughs> the real money is hidden in a tiny red envelope, snug as a bug, in my office. <laughs> I hope you learned your lesson, Mikey. You know, if there's one thing we all know about Mikey Miller, is that he never learns. But maybe he'll listen this time. The police are outside. I'm going to talk to them. Service will resume shortly. Michael Miller, I am so angry with you right now. You are nothing but a, a low-life criminal. <laughs> Actually, Miss Miller, Mikey might be a hero. Huh? Pastor McDaniels, what brings you inside here? I, I, 
I thought you were going to meet with the police.